competition again today. Um, they have Guitar Hero, uh, Call of Duty, they're the number one, number three, and number five video game sellers for the current month of January. And um, they're merging with the French conglomerate Vivendi's video game company, Blizzard, which makes the World of Warcraft. Uh, this is a big positive because um, they're going to be able to download Guitar Hero songs for about two bucks a pop instead of just making new games. So I feel like people are going to keep buying it throughout the year and just uh, keep playing the new music. The company also owns the biggest music distribution in the world. So I feel like they'll be able to have a lot of songs to choose from. And, uh, and they're also, the next market they're aiming for is Europe. They're expecting higher sales in Europe. And because they also have a better economy than the US right now, I feel like it's important to diversify your company outside of the United States. Uh, the current stock price is 26.85, and then this is their revenue segments: publishing 74, distribution 26, and the geographical it's about 50/50. So I feel like that's a positive. Uh, this has been the graph so far. Uh, the jump up here, mainly due to Black Friday and uh, expected high sales for the holiday season. Uh, go to the next one. And this is the peer group. I chose the sub-industry instead of the industry. And you can see the operating margin for the sub-industry is negative. The top three competitors, EA Games, Take-Two Entertainment, and THQ Incorporated, they all had negative operating margins. Um, EA went up a couple, went up a little bit, but they stayed in the negatives. You can see that uh, Activision goes down, but I still feel like it's high for its sub-industry. And then you can see the price of the earnings is going down. It's about, it's exactly the same as the sub-industry group. And um, yeah, like this is very high. And then you can see the beta is a little higher, especially with like the downturn in the market. But I still feel like it's a long-term buy. And if they're able to tap the European market like they're looking forward to doing, I feel like the company would be a strong company this upcoming year.